So I think we're all aware of what Roblox security is, and how terrible it is, and how many flaws there are, and it's just the worst thing ever. You have Rhubarb and Custard Sweets, they're nice, and then you have Roblox security. That's like the opposite of Rhubarb and Custard, that's like the disgusting mints you get. Licorice. Compare it to Licorice, it's disgusting. So the idea of uh, Call Me Bob, a Royal High developer, one of the biggest games in Roblox, making millions a year, possibly, I don't know how much they make because I... I don't check their revenue reports, but seriously, they make a lot of money, probably. But the idea of them getting hacked and beamed? <sighs> really, Roblox? Yeah, let's talk about it. So, being beamed is when somebody hacks your account or whatever, and then they start taking your limiteds, and then they put them on their account, and then yeah, blah, blah, blah. your stuff's gone, and they've got a bunch of stuff. It, it's as simple as that. But it wasn't your average Roblox developer on Twitter whining about it. No, 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 no. It was the Royal High developer. The Royal High owner, call me Bob. Now, here's how it went down. They got beamed. People on Twitter saying they got beamed. Within an hour, Roblox like, they got beamed. Okay, let's get their account back. And it's done. Now, there are so many things that I hate with this. Number one, the biasness towards Royal High developers and developers in general. Roblox will fix their account and help them straight away. When it comes to other players that are in dire need of getting their account back and rewinded and stuff like that. No, it takes them two days, three days, four days. And it's actually so annoying. And I get the idea that Royal High people make them a lot of money. But the idea that it takes somebody of that scale to get their account back straight away instead of somebody who's smaller getting her account back in what a week or so i find it incredibly stupid but aside from me nitpicking about roblox's biasness and their attitude towards helping bigger devs compared to smaller ones and smaller people it's the fact that people are getting hacked so easily pin's account got hacked because he didn't have a pin now this is kind of his fault but at the same time Roblox security allowed him to get hacked because his cookie was stolen that easily. The idea that no one's account is safe is kind of concerning, considering the fact that a Royal High developer, somebody who makes one of the top grossing games on Roblox, one of the most popular games with the uh, most toxic community, <clears throat> getting hacked so easily is so astounding to me. Like, I can't begin to comprehend how stupid the people at Roblox are. Getting basic cybersecurity is, it sounds like such an easy idea, from a multi-billion dollar company at least. But no, two-factor authentication from an email, that's it. You get pinned to, but that's it. Other applications require you to have a certain password with like certain characters. Then you have two authenticators, email, phone and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure if the hacker doesn't have your phone number, they can get into your account. But then also remember when Roblox got hacked and they had t-shirts uploaded or Flamingo and stuff like that? Yeah, I guess you could say that's one of the biggest indicators that Roblox security sucks. Now my last say on this is the fact that these Royal High devs are getting hacked so easily, getting beamed, losing their limiteds and stuff. That's easily... <laughs> Uh, it's almost laughable at this point. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and stuff. Credit to all the people in the description. Credit to the game I'm playing in the description. Bad business. Shout out to that game. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good Pokemon Go Swap Blue Community Day. And take care. See ya.